What's up, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can move existing mod packs, resource packs, worlds, etc., etc., across from the old Twitch Curse Forge launcher to the new Overwolf Curse Forge launcher. Why exactly is this? Well, if you don't already know, Twitch acquired Curse Forge back in 2016, and now they've sold it onto Overwolf to manage in their new Overwolf app. I, of course, have Overwolf and the Twitch launcher currently installed, and as you'll probably notice very shortly, both of these applications have different mod packs in them. The new Overwolf Curse Forge beta, of course, is the newer version that we're going to be moving to when this mods tab on the Twitch launcher stops working on November 30th, which is tomorrow. While you may still be able to launch them from here or not, I'm not entirely sure, but for sure, what you'll have to do is move these mod packs across to the new Curse Forge launcher from Overwolf. How exactly do you do this? Well, when you're installing Curse Forge, you should get an option to choose where you want to install these mod packs too. If this location matches the exact same location you have inside of the Twitch launcher, then the mod packs will just appear in both of the launches automatically. Otherwise, if they're in slightly different locations, which for me they are, then we have to move them across inside of the Curse Forge launcher from Overwolf, heading into the settings section, followed by Minecraft, we'll see the location that mod packs are installing too. But if we look inside of the Twitch launcher, click our icon on the top right, head down to settings, and then the Minecraft tab, we'll see where these are going to. Twitch is going to see users Technobo Twitch Minecraft, while the Curse Forge launcher is going to see users Technobo Documents Twitch Minecraft, which is a completely different folder. If you didn't notice the difference, Documents is included in this Curse Forge one, and it's not included in the Twitch launcher one over here, meaning these two folders are in completely different locations. This one inside of Documents Twitch Minecraft is the new Curse Forge beta, as inside of the Instances folder, we have Valhesia 2. But removing Documents from the address bar at the top, you can see inside of the Minecraft Instances folder in here, which is the Twitch launcher, we only have this HR New Beginnings mod pack here. Right, so let's get to moving them across. First of all, completely close out of the Twitch launcher if you have it open. Simply click the hamburger button in the top left, go to file and then exit. Then inside of the Curse Forge launcher from Overwolf, we'll simply hit the X in the top right if you've configured it to close both Overwolf and the Curse Forge launcher. Otherwise, if you click the settings in the bottom left and under the Curse Forge section, you have it set to hide Curse Forge, simply set it to exit Curse Forge or exit Curse Forge and Overwolf instead. Then when we click the X, it'll close out of it completely. Great. Now that neither of the launchers are running, we'll simply navigate across to where the Twitch launcher was. In my case, it was C Users Technobo Twitch Minecraft. Inside of the Instances folder, we have all of the different mod packs. Simply select the Minecraft mod packs we want to move across, right click, and click Cut. Then we'll navigate across to where the Curse Forge launcher is installing them. In my case, it's C Users Technobo, Documents, Twitch, Minecraft, Instances, and we'll paste it into here. After moving across the mod pack, Simply launch up the Curse Forge launcher once again, and you can already see it worked as we have two mod packs installed. Clicking Minecraft, here are the two mod packs that we have installed. The one we downloaded with the new Curse Forge beta, and the one we had already installed from the Twitch launcher. If we were to go ahead and start it up, we'd have all our resource packs, worlds, etc, etc, all saved as we left them. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!